Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to talk about how to make a scientific or academic uh, poster. Uh, I'm sure this video will be really useful to uh, graduate students and undergrad students who are at university. So what is poster? A poster is a, is a visual method of presenting any information. And if you are a student of science and if you are doing your research, then a poster, a scientific poster is a visual presentation of your research data. And to be a good poster, it needs to have a great content and it needs to have a very good layout so that it is easily understandable to the reader. And a good poster should be easily readable from certain distance. And to make a good uh, poster, um, there are a few steps and I'm going to show you those steps using PowerPoint. And uh, the steps uh, that are needed to have a good poster includes uh, choosing the right size of the poster um, and then adding content and then adding images in the poster and checking right font and size and lining up all the content so that it has a very good layout and saving it um, uh, in a PDF format so that you can send that PDF file to print. All right, let's begin. First, you have to go to the PowerPoint and you have to add the slide and choose the size of the slide, which is also the size of the poster. So let's click new slide. And then let's delete these two things here. And then go to design, slide size, custom. Uh, it really depends on your conference uh, or seminar requirements. So for that, you can go to their website and check what is the requirement. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to use portrait and custom and my width will be 100 centimeter and my height will be 120 centimeter. So click OK and click maximize. It really doesn't matter. So now it looks like a portrait um, poster and in this poster the uppermost part will be topic and then middle part will be all the content and you can add pictures or a logo in the end part. So now um, you know the size of the poster it is time to add content. So for the content what you can do is you can have a word document where you can copy paste everything like uh, what I have done here. So this will be the topic. This will be introduction. That will be methods. Uh, here we can put results, then conclusions, and then references, and then all the pictures uh, that you need to use in your poster. So let's copy paste one by one. First, we can copy paste uh, topic. Control C, Control V. So that will be our topic. So topic will have the font size of, let's say 85. So this is our topic, uh, that is our authors and that is our affiliation. So that could be university or research organization. Now let's uh, copy paste introduction. So now this is our introduction. Let's make it slightly bigger and you can make introduction even bigger so up to 50 and this one can be made let's say 38 you can align it at the end make it better at the end so now uh, let's copy paste methods so you can add methods here If you zoom in then you can arrange it slightly better way so method can be again 50 and this can be again 38 same as introduction And then now it's time to add uh, results. So for that, I have uh, made already made a graph. So let's click insert. So these are my results. So 
so these are my three results so what you can do is you can make it make them slightly bigger then just copy this part control c control v and then move it here make it 50 results you can move it here make it slightly bigger again bigger and again bigger yeah that, that's looking better and now it's time to add uh, conclusion so conclusion let's copy paste so maybe you can add conclusion here because of these pictures uh, it's tricky to add it in this portion and then you can add references yeah now you already have everything so topic introduction methods results conclusion references um, I usually prefer to have results um, before conclusion but because I have so many pictures so sometimes it might be tricky to organize it but if you spend some more time you can put results here and then conclusion here but it really depends the, the main purpose is to make your uh, reader understand the theme of your study and under, make them understand your results so um, i don't think it matters uh, that much as long as they they like your topic and they like your poster and they like the theme of your research now let's add some of the pictures control p so this picture can go here this picture can go here and that picture can go there so let's zoom in slightly more and then let's make them slightly bigger let's make this slightly bigger And let's add, finally, let's add my picture. So now this already is getting nice shape. So now you can, uh, you can make it aesthetically pleasant. Uh, so for that, what you can do is shape outline. And then say fill so you can do something like this and then for this again you can do same and then for this part what you can do is insert shape send backwards into back here and then again shape fill can be something like this and again you can do same thing here yeah something like this and then you can align this part so And again, same goes for this part. And then you can go to design and format background, solid fill, and let's see how this looks. 
or maybe this one not this one yeah this is looking slightly better so that's how it will look like um, and then you can add some more pictures here or you can add some more contents here uh, depending upon the need and make it slightly better so this is just a uh, it's just an example guys so this way you can make it uh, a nice scientific posters um i know this poster is not perfect because i haven't spent too much time uh, to make it nice looking uh, this is just a tutorial um i hope uh, this will help you in your in your conference um now the last part is to print this poster uh, in a pdf format because you need to send that poster to print so for that what you can do is go to file save as pdf and then poster one you can just give whatever name you want so click save and let's see how it looks like on pdf format so poster one so this is our poster yep this is how it will look like in our pdf format in the pdf format and this is not looking bad not looking that bad um, and remember i just spent 10 minutes in this so if you spend uh, two three hour more to make it look nice you can definitely make it way way better than this uh, i hope this video has been useful to you guys um, and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and feel free to leave your comments below if you like this video thanks guys